Well, I had seen the ads for this wallet on YouTube, but I was on the fence about ordering one. A friend of mine, though, had good things to say about his new Exter. I have to admit, it looks nice. The leather, it's nicely finished. The stitching, they paid attention to detail here. It looks nice. I enjoyed this wallet for the first week of owning it and using it. It seemed to hold the cards securely. Nice. I also opted for that Chipolo or Chipolo or whatever to track my wallet if I ever lose it. So after a few months of owning this wallet, this is my opinion. And don't get me wrong, this wallet, it may be perfect for you and it may fit your lifestyle. Things evolve and change. But the intent of this review is to relay my experience. First, this is a card wallet. And if you only have a couple of IDs, membership cards, and maybe only four credit cards, this capacity may work for you. But that is for unembossed cards. For example, if some of your cards are still embossed with raised numbers, you are not fitting five cards comfortably in this wallet. No way. The next concern that I have is that if you have to carry any cash, it has to be folded three times at least, and any amount at all, it begins to get bulky and doesn't allow closing of the wallet all the way. If you only travel in the United States and only locally, maybe you don't need to carry cash. Not a problem. But if you travel internationally and need at least a few bills for each country you are going to visit, well, very quickly this becomes unwieldy. And then, this wallet is just not comfortable in a rear pocket. It's too bulky, especially with any bills in it. Therefore, you end up putting it in your front pocket, which interferes with your ability to easily get change for the subway. or getting your old-style door keys when traveling through Italy. Not to mention keeping the parking tickets in the wallet and the elastic band with the cash, and then trying to remove the ticket from the wallet in the front pocket at the exit. I'm old, I'm not a gymnast, and not used to that much physical exertion while driving. Reaching in your back pocket for the old-style wallet, that's much simpler, even with a seatbelt on. So, after some use, I took that Chipolo card out. It is durable, it held up, but it is thick. The Chipolo, Chipolo, and two cards at the slot side, well, the click to eject doesn't work without unnecessary effort. Forget this. Sadly, though, that was one of the features that I had wanted originally. The ability to track and find my wallet in case I misplaced it or I forget it at an izakaya. You can put that chipolo or chipolo in the side pocket, but then the wallet becomes so thick that it doesn't close properly, which again makes putting this in your back pocket uncomfortable and digging it out of your front pocket a pain. Again, forget this. And besides, I really need that side pocket to store my health insurance card and access badges. That brings up another reason I wanted the extra, and that's RFID protection. I can't speak to the effectiveness of this, as I haven't had my card stolen yet. The RFID protection, though, is something I do like, and my old style billfold does not have. However, while I do feel secure with the extra against electronic threats, after months of use, I now have a new fear that I didn't have with my old billfold style wallet. Think about this. If you always put the extra in your pocket, the front pocket, open side facing up, this may not be a problem. But if you are in a hurry or for whatever reason put the wallet in your pocket with the open side down, a card slips out. Sometimes it slips out and stays in your pocket. Other times, the card bells between exiting the pocket and pressing the eject button. If you are in a crowded area, you may not even notice losing this card until you push the eject button and it's not there. And this Houdini card trick, mastering the art of escape, has happened more than once. I now try very hard to make sure that this wallet goes in the pocket 
open side up. They need a label on it like Jeep, this side up. I am trying to be objective. Times change. I have my great-grandfather's wallet from over a hundred years ago. Decent leather, quality stitching. Intended to carry bills without folding them, and a zippered pouch. No place for a driver's license, though, or an ID. The security feature back then was a belt loop and a chain that prevented loss or pickpockets. Effective and simple. My thoughts? This extra, it may be great for the young man that's never seen a $50 bill, gotten paid in cash, only carries a couple of thin credit cards and no student debt, perhaps. Maybe this is a great wallet and I'm just old, out of touch, and not with it anymore. Maybe. For me, I think I will just go back to my old billfold style in my back pocket. And if I go through an airport or a subway, I will just put it in my front pocket and go on. I can carry six cards comfortably in it, and they don't fly out when I pull the wallet from my pocket. And the bills, I don't have to fold them up three times, unfold them, fold them back up, put them in an elastic band. I don't know. Maybe this wallet was designed more with the genteel crowd in mind, more than the working or traveling man. The card that flies out, it is metal, and it's heavy, and it is the metal card that drops out every time. Maybe Extra can fix that. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't worry too much about the cash, though, getting folded up and stuff. More and more places across the United States and Canada are no longer accepting cash of any form. My guess is in just a few years anyway, cash will just become a memory. If you have an extra or a similar type of wallet, let me know your thoughts in the comments. The good, the bad, the ugly. Do any of you have these same problems or other problems or is it just me? Am I just a relic, a dinosaur, holding on to a fossil? No pun intended. Or can extra improve this wallet, make it a better? When my current billfold wears out, I'm going to consider either a Royce or a Saddleback, or maybe both. If you have any experience with these wallets, I would be happy to hear from you, the pros, the cons, what you like about them, what you don't like about them. I particularly like the warranty with the saddleback. I don't swim with crocodiles that often, and I try to avoid elephants when possible. If you have any saddleback products, let me know. I appreciate your time. Until next time, be a good human. Take care.